the bigger companies are focusing on adult collectors. They've literally said it in their quarterly reports that they're going to go uh, spend a larger portion of their marketing going after 30 something year olds and up. What we're doing differently is wanting to build original IP from scratch, just like the stuff we all had when we were kids. Uh, you're gonna get original characters, original toys, not a reboot, not a sequel, not a rehash. There are a lot of competing products out there to get kids' attention. Uh, we're putting a lot of effort into actually talking to kids and saying, hey, what do you like? And we talk to kids that like action figures. And we know that what we're gonna do is gonna work because we've tested the heck out of it with kids and with co the collector's market. So yeah, the, the kids today, they still play with action figures. They love action figures. There's a new superhero movie every month, pretty much. We said, hey, would you like something new? And they overwhelmingly said yes. Yeah, a lot of people call me a jack of all trades. I've been into economics and science and technology, art, animation, and that's really helped me to be positioned to run a company where you have to know a little bit about how what everybody else is doing, but not know so much that you have to bog them down a little bit. The reason I'm into kids' property so much is that was my refuge when I was a kid, is that I felt alienated alone like a lot of kids do and uh, I was able to, to have some refuge in toys and play and cartoons and things of that nature. And that's, that's really what inspired me to do this. I love kids, I have a kid of my own. We really want this company to be a positive influence on kids' development. The thing that led me to make toys is, first of all, I'm a toy collector. I have been since I was a young lad. We could have done comics, we could have done animations, things like that, but those markets were saturated. We started with toys as a storytelling medium because we knew it was a different approach that hasn't been done in a long time. A lot of toy companies just want to create a toy to supplement some other IP and kind of make a quick buck on merchandising. We say no, we would like our toys to have an intrinsic play value and yeah, of course the comics and the cartoons and things will come later but it's the important part is that the kids are letting their imaginations run wild with these toys. I want to talk a little bit about market differentiation because the reason we picked action figures for our first brand launch was because I was standing in the action figure aisle one day and I looked across the board everything was at least 30 years old yeah so we thought hey if we we're gonna come out with something new all we got to do is put it right there and it'll be new compared to everything your grandpa had we are going to be a brand factory an idea factory if you will we're going to put out new brands all the time we're never gonna rest on our laurels we, we may even retire our brands just for the extra money so when we sell off those brands that means more money coming into us to make new brands for new kids and new generations forever a lot of people might say, hey, you're a small company. You're at a disadvantage compared to those other big guys. And I would say, well, no, we're more nimble. So we're gonna get to do a lot of experimental things. We're gonna get to try a lot of things that kids like and the other guys are too uh, bogged down with bureaucracy to try. They're going to be scrambling to keep up with us. We're going to raise the bar for what the toy industry has to do to meet their consumers' demands. Our philosophy going into alternation was to get the kids involved at every step of the way, have cool and unique original designs, and just keep them involved with that whole process and give us constant feedback on those designs. What all that did for us was give us a really original story that was unlike anything else that was out there and wasn't condescending to kids. It, it, it really was a sophisticated thing that they could still wrap their heads around. 